and hello everyone welcome back to another Pascal tutorial in this tutorial we'll be talking about scopes now if you haven't seen my video on procedures and functions or my videos I do recommend that you do go watch them even if you don't quite understand the topic I just need you to know that they exist and that they are basically the same as this begin and end but just that you can call them later on now, what exactly is a scope? Now, let's say we have a box. So here, I'm just going to open up my drawing app. All right, so here we have a box, a big, big box. Now it has a variable, variable called X, and X contains the value two. Now, this box can have another box inside of it. And let's say it has the variable y, and it has the value of 4. Now, when we print out y in this box, we'll get 4. That's pretty obvious. But when we print out x in this box, we will actually get 2. However, you should take note that if I were to reassign x here, x becomes 40 and we were to print out x then, then x will be 40. So if I reassign x, then its value will change. But if I don't reassign it, it will inherit the value from the box above it. But take note that if we were to print out x here, we'll get two. If x was reassigned, we, depending on how it works, might get four t. So x might return 40 if we reassign it, but take note, you cannot print out y. y will give you an error. So e r r for error, because y is scoped to this box here. But if this box were to have its own little box, and you were to print out y, you'll get four. And it can go down like this, forever and forever and forever. But the point is that you cannot access Y in this outer scope box, but you can access X instead of its inner scope. So X is a yes, whilst Y is a no. So the deeper you go in, you can still access it, but you cannot access it on the outside. Let me give you an all an example. Let's say here we have a procedure. And this procedure, we can just call it birthday, has a variable called age. Now, age, we can say by default is 12, or let's go 120 because that's cooler. And if we say age plus, or age becomes age plus one, and we write line age, we'll of course get 120. So let's call birthday here. And we can't print a right line birthday here because it's not a function, it doesn't return anything. We'll get 121. But we cannot access age from in here. We can't say right line age because this is in an upper scope. To give you an idea, so this is our main program, right? Take note, this is main. To give you an idea, let's say here we have our box. This is birthday. So B for birthday. It has age, which is 120. And in here is our main scope. Our main program here doesn't have an age. But you can't do this. You cannot share age from B to M. You cannot do that. These two are two different scopes. Similarly, you can't share any variables that might be inside of M here. You can't share it to B. Unless you call B, so you call it like a procedure, and you pass in that variable. In which case B, why, who might, that might take in this variable, such as, let's say, birthday. And if that is true, so it's a Boolean, so birthday Boolean. If that's true, then age will become age plus one. As an example, let's go here and say birth as birthday, and then this is a boolean. 
Now here we can just say if birth then begin and end. There we go. So now if it's their birthday, age will become age plus one. If we say true here, then it's 121. If we say false, it's 120. And this could of course be its own variable. So we can say for birth, or just so we don't get confused and make this something else, B for birth, and that's Boolean. And if we pass in B here, and B is true, then we'll get 121. But we cannot write line B here. We can't do that because B is not in this scope. We cannot just send that value there. As you can see here, this not allowed, very big wrong. And even here, if we were to say birth becomes false, this birth becomes false will only exist inside of this procedure. When we go back here and we write the line B, and of course we remove this B here and we just say age. If we do that, you'll still see true because you cannot change the value of a value you pass in here. So this parameter will always have to stick to the same value. It will change inside of this procedure. So if we were to write line birth here, it would be false. So if we run this, we'll get our false value here. But outside of this birthday function, the procedure, it will stay the same. However, you need to take note that our entire program is a scope. So this white page here, that is our entire program. If we were to put a variable A here, and A is equal to four, then A is accessible to both B and M. So we can access A instead of both of them. Here we can change A to two. So now A will be two. And whenever we use A, we'll get two. And here we can even print out A and we'll get our value. Because this is our program scope. This is our file. This, that white part, that's our file. Which means we can do something like var age, which is an integer. Now in your main program, you need to specify what age is. You need to give it its value. So here we can say age becomes 100. And we can actually remove that for now. And in here, if we don't specify a new variable, let's, let's keep this variable here. And let's write line age. We can remove this birth here as well. And here we say our age variable, otherwise we're going to get an error, becomes 400. And let's, let's actually not do that. Let's see what we get if we don't do that. We'll get nothing. Because age here, which is a local variable, because we defined it here, isn't given. So if we do this, we specify 400, and we actually need to call birthday, my bad. And let's actually just remove this again so we can see that result again. You'll see we get zero because age is nothing. We haven't defined age yet because it's declared locally. We declared a new one. As I said in the beginning with this one, we can pass it in and here we can change it. So take a look here. Here we change it. And in here, it will give us that new value. Or in this case, if we were to declare X again inside of here, so not change it, but redeclare X. Then X will no, not change here. It will never become 40. It will stay two because it's of the outer scope, not of the inner scope. That is what's happening here. It might be confusing, but it's actually fairly simple. When we declare X here and if we run this, we'll get 400. When we declare age here, we are saying we have a new local scope variable that is scoped to birthday. So it cannot be used outside of birthday, even though we have the same variable here. It cannot be used outside of birthday. This here can be used outside of birthday if we were to write line age. We'll get 100 for that one. So that will be the bottom one here, 100. But that age cannot be used inside of here. This is what's called a global scope variable, meaning this global scope variable can be used inside of any of the procedures and functions and anything else inside of this file. 
and a global scope variable can be overwritten by a local scope variable. So it cannot, it can be basically be kicked out of the team. A really clear a variable with the same name as this variable here, then it will create a new one for that specific function. That's something you need to take note of. But if we were to do this, then take a look at this. Both of them will be 400 because when we call birthday, we are changing the global scope variable because here we first declare it. So we say what the initial value would be, just the initial value. Then here we're calling birthday and it's changing the value of age and printing it out. And in here we're printing it out. If we were to swap these two, age would still be 100. But as soon as we move right line to underneath birthday, it changes. And that's a global scope variable. Here we can even say age becomes age plus one. So when it's someone's birthday, their age will increase with one. So here we can even print line age or right line age and then do it again here. If we run it, we'll get 100, then 101. So this variable here can be used anywhere within this program, modified anywhere in this program and give a value anywhere in this program. Now, this is very dangerous. You might have already noticed this. Age here can be changed anywhere without warning. Meaning if you call the wrong function at the wrong time, your global scope variable can be completely different from what you expected it to be. And in general, that's why it's actually recommended to never create global scope functions or variables. But when you do, basically, this age variable can now be used anywhere. Unlike variables that are created inside of these scopes. So if we go var x, which is an integer, and then we were to write line x, unlike this, and then of course this x becomes bunch of nines, which is actually too big, so got an overflow. Anyhow, this is local scope. So it's unlike this. So just take note, this var here, it counts as a local scope for this main program. That doesn't include procedure, this procedure here. So we cannot use it in here. Whilst this var here is global scope to everything around it. So it can be used anywhere. Now scoping of course becomes a lot more complex over time. But this is the general sense of how scoping works. If something is inside of a function declared as a variable, or even here, it is local scope to that specific function. In this case, it's local scope to this main procedure. But this procedure, the same here, if we were to declare a variable here like age, as I showed you, it will become local scope, locally scoped to this procedure. Same with a function. But if we declare it here, it can be used anywhere in the program, modified by any place in the program, unless it's a constant, of course. And that is the basics of scoping in Pascal. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all again in the next Pascal tutorial.